While SearchWorks Articles Plus allows you to search many databases at once, there are times when you may want to focus on one. One important database for education is ERIC, and it is in Articles Plus, but there are some advantages to searching it by itself. To get to ERIC, select the database's link on the SearchWorks Start page, or go to databases.stanford.com. Edu. Type ERIC in the search box. I will select the ProQuest version, but there is also a version in EBSCOhost. Either is fine. Selecting the advanced search gives us a number of options. One advantage of using ERIC is that it has a thesaurus, which will give the subject headings used for your topic. If the pop-up window for the thesaurus does not appear, make sure your browser allows pop-ups. Type in school reform. Notice that if we select comprehensive school reform, it tells us that educational change is the heading to use. We can find more options by selecting the notes icon. For now, I'll simply use Educational Change and School Turnaround. Select OR so I get articles from either subject heading, and then select Add to Search. If you do not see Add to Search, you may need to switch browsers. When we select Search, we get way too many hits, so let's narrow it. We can start by selecting Peer Reviewed. These are articles that have been evaluated by other scholars in the field before being chosen for publication. We can choose scholarly journals as our source type. We can limit the publication date by moving the slider to 2010 to the present and selecting Update. Other ways we can limit our search include document type, education level, and target audience. These are options not found in Articles Plus. Note the results come back sorted by relevance. You can change this if you wish. Note also that the records indicate the number of sites by other works in the ProQuest databases and allows you to link to those records. They also give the articles references with links to these. Both are ways to expand your search. Let's select a record to look at more closely. We are given an abstract to help us see if this is an article that fits our needs. We also see a list of subject headings. There may be some here to consider searching in the future. We could even start a new search with some of the subject headings if we wished. So, for example, we could combine educational change with social justice and urban schools. Now we have a new search with no limits applied. Luckily, ProQuest keeps track of our recent searches in case we need to redo one. To find out if Stanford has a copy of this article, select Find it at Stanford. In this case, we can get full text from the publisher, Sage. If there were no full text, then we'd want to use SearchWorks to see if a paper copy is available. And if none of those options work, there is always interlibrary borrowing. Go to the SearchWorks page under Library Services and select Interlibrary Services. Going back to the results, you can select items to email, print, or export. ERIC is only one of the databases in ProQuest. If you select Change Databases, you'll see a list of others that may be relevant. Scrolling down this list, you will eventually find Sociological Abstracts, which covers works in sociology and related fields. The search screen is similar to ERIC, but the thesaurus terms or assigned subject headings may be different. 
To see, select the advanced screen, then the source. Type in school reform. Note that this time the heading to use is educational reform. So, though it is possible to search several or even all the ProQuest databases at once, be sure to do a simple keyword search first. Then, when you've discovered which databases seem best, search one at a time and use the thesaurus if the database has one. For suggestions of databases to use for your topic, ask us or look for a topic guide on the Education Library's website.